feel like we're just building up to the players walking out. There's a real sense of occasion here in Dubai. It's not often that a Premier League club comes to visit. And even when they do come to visit, not too many of them play a game, but that's what Unai Emery has trusted his side to do today. He'll be desperate for his side to avoid any type of injury. As you can see, walking out, a mix of experience and youth within this Arsenal side. Mesut Ozil was the man leading the team out. And there are plenty of travelling Arsenal fans, as well as local Arsenal fans as well. That is the benefit of football these days, just so popular worldwide. And a really good opportunity for the locals to watch a Premier League side close up. Unai Emery, as we mentioned, has opted for a mixture of youth and experience in his starting 11. Bern Leno once again between the sticks. He's got the youngsters, Dinos Mavropanos and Zek Medley, joining Skodron Mustafi and Carl Jenkinson in front of him. Ben Sheaf and Charlie Gilmore will provide the legs in midfield behind two canny operators in Meza Ozil and Denis Suarez. Keep an eye out for the blistering pace of Xavier Michi on the right-hand side. He'll be looking to find Alex Lacazette, who leads the line. Six more academy graduates are on the bench, including AZ Maitland-Niles, while Unai Emery can also call on the experience of two more of his leadership group in Petr Cech and Laurent Koscielny. Near side for Dutra, the Brazilian. One of four designated foreign players for Al Nassir. He's found another one in uh, Fernandez, who looks for Negredo, but it's a good stop again by Bern Leno. I think luckily for him, Negredo couldn't get any direction on the shot in the end. Just straight at the goalkeeper. Nice touch there by Alex Lacazette. Ozil with some space to run into. He's got Denis Suarez with him if he needs him. And Suarez always looking to play the return to Ozil, but in the end, Shambi's off his line quickly, read the danger and came out to collect. A uh, nice little bit of combination play between Ozil and Suarez there, and uh, Suarez just slightly overhit the, uh, the final pass. Good first-time ball by Sheaf out towards that medley. Nice little twists and turns to get past his man. In the end, you could see what he was trying, just trying to stand that one up towards the far post. Yeah, it's a good ball out to him, a little bit of a tr trickery out on that uh, left-hand side. Another opportunity for them to find Alvaro Negredo and his strike partner, Rodriguez uh, Fernandez up top. And the two of them combining well again. Negredo looks to shift it onto his left foot, but Bern Leno well positioned. You can just see again that uh, Arsenal getting caught out in the uh, full-back positions. Okay, here's a chance for Denis Suarez to get in behind. He's still going there, Denis Suarez, and in the end, requires some good defending by Masood there to block that one for a corner. Yeah, good little run by Suarez, and I think Dutra as well had a little nibble at his legs. Great positive play. There's that ball into the channels again, and it's... Dutra getting the return pass. Got Charlie Gilmore with him for company and steady offers to play the ball back towards Fernandez, who's going for a shot, and it's a fantastic goal there. Ronnie Fernandez, you have to say, from a neutral perspective, he's deserved that goal. I have to say, this is a terrific goal, well worked down the right hand side. Ball pulled back, and a little touch, and I almost thought initially that uh, the touch was too close to him, but he opens it up perfectly. Fernandez curls it in off the uh, Far post, lovely strike, great technique, but it's a terrific finish. It's a good ball over the top, it's a brilliant touch by Lacazette, just couldn't match it with the finish. A chance from nothing for Arsenal there. Shambi recovered well to save. But he didn't swing it towards the near post. I heard Bern Leno scrambling, actually. Uh, Kamas whipping this into near post. I think he hit the post and, uh, and Leno and out for uh, another corner. As again, back to Amici. All good possession by Arsenal, but there's only one man in the box at the moment, and that's Alex Lacazette. Here's Suarez, though, we know that he can hit them, and it's a brilliant pass actually to Jenkinson, who's come off the bar. Right for to Jenkinson again. The Arsenal fan gets the Arsenal goal and draws Arsenal level. Yeah, just an injection of pace, lovely little ball inside the fullback. Jenkinson, side foot. Hits the uh, post, comes back off uh, Lacazette, just drops down perfectly for Jenkinson with his left foot this time. To have started a, a 
much higher tempo in this second half, Nigel. Lizzie Maitland-Niles can break forward. It's a great first touch, and it's come to Lacazette, and that's a brilliant, sweeping Arsenal attack. Yeah, good play by Maitland-Niles. Little flick by Ozil. Lacazette just sets it onto his left foot and curls it past the uh, goalkeeper. Terrific play again, but in an injection of pace, not only with the running of the players, but the movement of the ball. So number 70, though, Mohamed looking for Suidan. It's going to be a speculative effort, but Petacek was comfortable in that shot by Ishmael flying harmlessly wide of his left post. That's really good pressure, though, from the young Arsenal striker. He's one-on-one, -on -one the goalkeeper now. It's John Jules to, fin to finish it up for 3-1. And he does just that, holds his nerve, and has the composure to finish. And there's that signature finger to the lips celebration that we've seen so many times for Arsenal's academy sides. Yeah, a mistake by the centre half. John Jules does very well pressing. I was thinking, was it a foul? I, I don't believe it was. It's just the centre half was too casual, got the ball stuck under his feet. John Jules does great, goes round the goalkeeper. Good little bit of composure here, watch, and then a lot of players would hit this straight away, but he doesn't, he takes another touch. Gashak there, switching play to the far side. It's a good effort, but Petacek gets down well to stop it. It's going to be another follow-up there in the end. You can see that, and you'll just see that Petacek there pushing that uh, shot away. Looked to me like Plegasuelo had pulled down the on-rushing striker. The sack, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Shaq. It's a yellow card for Plegasuelo, fully deserved. But his angle's all wrong there, the Arsenal defender trying desperately to recover. One minute to go of normal time here. It's going to be Jalal, the number four for Alnacir. Sends Petacek the wrong way. Almost places it straight down the middle as Czech gets to his right. Yeah, very confident, wasn't it? Waiting for Petacek to go across to his right-hand side and, uh, well, really straight down the middle. Very confident, very cool. At Arsenal, but for now, that's full-time here at the al -Tum Stadium. It was a tough start for the Gunners who fell behind to an early goal from Ronnie Fernandez, But then Carl Jenkinson struck just on the stroke of half-time to level the scores. Arsenal came out much better in the second half, and it was Alex Lacazette who was able to latch on to a really clever flick from Meza Ozil to uh, give Arsenal the lead before Tyrese John-Jules robbed possession from an al Nasir defender before calmly burying his first senior goal for Arsenal. Jalal struck a late penalty late on after Plegasuelo had brought an on-rushing striker down in the box. But in the end, it's a routine victory for Arsenal in Dubai. It's Al-Nazir 2, Arsenal 3.